Hey there, this is John Ackerby from Bluefin Solutions with a special uh, JDO DSAP uh, video cast. I'm here uh, in Malaysia with uh, Bani Zainal, the SVP of um, Corporate Services Division, I get it right, mm -hmm. um, from Malakoff and Serb Joda, who is our consulting lead uh, in, for Bluefin in Malaysia. And we're going to talk a little bit about the enterprise mobility thing. Um, and Barney, we've, we've just completed a project with you guys on this, and I guess a great place to start would be why why did you why did Malakoff start to think that mobility would be important for them as an enterprise, and and, and what what was the catalyst to do something about that? Malakoff has been always believing in uh, technology, and um, uh, we believe that uh, technology and IT in general um, is an enabler to our business, and. In in today's world, uh, as we globalize, uh, there is more and more uh, movement within the company, especially at the leadership level. And um, how it started was uh, through a, a needs uh, discussion between uh, between IT and the management. And one of the immediate and um, uh, priority requirement from from the management was was the ability for IT to move. Hence, uh, the mobility uh, idea. And uh, concept came about. Uh, we 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 were in search for um, technology, and uh, our our natural instinct is to go with uh, the existing technology available in the company, which is uh, SAP. And hence, you know, we went about and discovered uh, the uh, a partner whom can introduce the technology to the company. So so sir, I mean, it's really interesting because Malakoff is a is a water company. I mean, a classic utilities company. So I, I think, right, what are we going to do in Malkoff? We're going to do plant maintenance. But that, that isn't what happened, is it? Why, so why did we end up, um, what did we do? And why, why, why not plant maintenance first? Uh, well, uh, I mean, it all started with uh, just talking to the business. Um, so um, Bonnie and his team were instrumental in letting us know what their pain points were. Uh, we focused on those. And instead of focusing on more of the operational tasks, they wanted to enable their individuals. Uh, it was very much focused on people. Uh, and that's where they wanted to uh, develop these business cases. So what they wanted to focus on was travel uh, authorizations, uh, leave approval, benefit claims, and procurement. Uh, so those were key processes that tied the business down uh, if, those pro if, those, if that business engagement was available as they were actually out in the market and strategically growing the business. That's really interesting. So, so Bonnie, what, for, taking it from there, what was it like to implement? And you guys implemented the SAP mobility platform or the unwired platform. What, what did that feel like on the ground to implement? I guess um, the, um, the implementation and the deployment process was made easier through the partnership with, uh, with Rufin. Um, because of the tripartite uh, involvement in the, uh, in, in, the, in the creation and uh, the development of the of the application, and and thereafter the deployment, it, it makes uh, the, the whole process fluid. Uh, the involvement of the of the management, the involvement of the IT expertise, um, our ERP folks, and the involvement of the partners, uh, Bluefin. I mean, uh, has made the whole journey and the whole experience uh, very very um, very encouraging and, and very fulfilling. Good. So I had a, a specific question around this for you, which was, um, if we're talking about developers and engaging developers within communities, what does it look like for a project like this? What is the timeline, and what are the what are the skills that we needed to bring to the table versus what uh, Malakoff brings to the table, which I suppose is is really great knowledge of their business and process, great knowledge of their existing ERP systems. What in terms of that partnership, what? from a mobility development perspective, what do you need to bring to the table? Uh, I mean, you definitely, I think one of the biggest things is you absolutely need to bring um, some agility to, to the table. This is a very creative process, uh, it's, and it needs to be a very engaging process, both from the developer perspective and from the business. Um, so the journey pretty much looks like uh, you, you really work with the business, with the key users, in this case, the, uh, the executives of the organization, uh, who are in this position of becoming mobile and actually asking for these uh, applications to be available to them so they can actually continue business as usual uh, anywhere. Uh, so to be able to communicate, to really be able to visualize and storyboard with them and engage them and uh, really in an iterative and collaborative process uh, is really what solidified uh, the vision, 80% uh, of the vision from the get-go. And that was just two weeks into the project. And what, what did the team structure look like? 
Uh, the team structure, uh, so it was very critical for us to obviously have a, a very strong uh, leadership and stakeholder uh, position. Uh, Bonnie definitely provided that for us uh, from the outright. He was our cheerleader. Um, we needed a strong project management, uh, and that was specifically from the business. Uh, and that provided us uh, the know-how of how the business operates, but also enabled us to actually introduce some of that agility into the organization. Uh, and then you obviously have your technical teams as well, both from the business and from the developer perspective. Key from our side was actually to have enough skill sets to actually be able to develop what the end objective actually was. From the business side, uh, uh, actually having the right individuals who can take ownership as soon as the project is completed, so they can continue to innovate on their own, uh, as opposed to actually rel uh, relying on us. Okay, and um, so we're we're live now, um, I believe. And um, what? How has that changed the lives? of the people that are using this solution. I understand specifically that the way in which you're rolling this out is really top down. Yes. So, you know, it is senior corporate yes. officers first, right. C-level, yes. and, and the layer below, that's, that's, that's right. focus number one. Yes. How have their lives changed? Right, um, as you can see, you know, and experienced by many, um, our, our time spent at the office from nine to five typically will be inundated with meetings. Either meetings or meeting or meeting stakeholders so um, we don't have time for actually uh, looking at um, you know ap uh, application of leaves um, you know POPR coming to us uh, benefits claims to approve and so forth hence with mobility initially we thought that mobility will be when we travel overseas however today the mobility has enabled us to work from home for example you know everyone would wa want to be at home and be able to be with family and, and own personal matters and, and here it creates more flexibility in our time management where we can allocate time, uh, quality, quality time with family and quality time for work. And a lot of times I see that how it has changed our life is we are able to allocate before this four hours at the office working after five to probably half an hour working at home after the children probably go to bed and do whatever we need. Wow, and is, and is there a financial impact of that as well? I guess this is for you, Seb. I asked you specifically to, to give us some numbers. What, 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 give me some quantitative benefits. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, th this is a productivity tool for the business. Um, so Malakoff has uh, strategic growth plans, uh, and to enable them to actually, uh, these are key processes, and if you go back to the benefit case, the reason these process uh, applications were put in place is to enable the business to continue uh, wherever they are. Um, so, whereas it, certain applications took about a month based on different levels of approvals, uh, even one to two weeks in some instances, it's gone down to one to two days. So what that allows is for the business to continue uh, very quickly, and what that actually eventually actually leads to is uh, greater um, profitability and success from the, uh, the business point of view. So that's really an opportunity for strategic growth, that's what this is, is helping to drive. Absolutely. Let's, let's, let's move to, to wrap anyway, and I guess my, my final question would be, is this, is this experience with mobile being good enough to, to say we want to do more, yeah. and if so, what's next? Right, you know, that is a good question, because um, the, the, the flavor and the taste of uh, mobility through the approval process has given that, them a bigger appetite, uh, appetite for more. Um, they are now asking for um, more technology-enabled mobility uh, through asset tracking, for example, uh, where we can tag and, uh, and, and uh, track uh, assets and equipments. Uh, we also want to go into a mobile warehouse we are, where we are able to um, do our GR and GI, as well as plant maintenance, where not not notification of plant maintenance is done on mobile devices and we can update uh, work order via our mo mobile devices. So, so all this uh, and many more uh, are coming because uh, the appetite for mobility now is real and they have tasted it. Okay, well I'm, I'm, I'm for one uh, I'm really looking forward to that. It's, uh, it's a really exciting story you guys have got and I'm glad that it delivers real value. Well, thank you so much Bunny for speaking to us. Uh, thank you Serb and uh, this has been a JDOD special from Malaysia. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.